Howdy, friends. Welcome to Unlocked. It is the world's number one Xbox show. It's episode 308 for August uh, 6th or 7th, depending on <laughs> we're recording pretty early this week, uh, because thanks to our Disney XD show, starring a lot of Pearson friends, the studio schedule, it's all, you don't care. It doesn't matter. But the point is, we're here. We're a little early this week. So we'll have, uh, we're going we're gonna to have a little fun this week. We are going to take your questions, kind of an AMA style thing. I solicited a bunch of inquiries from our Podcast Unlocked Facebook group, which can be found where, Marty? Facebook.com slash group slash Podcast Unlocked. That's channeling the spirit of Mitch Dyer. I like it. that. Aww. He did it successfully. So uh, we'll take a bunch of you. Just talk random Xbox topics straight from uh, what you guys wanted to know. Also, actually happening in the last three days since we recorded, Spotify on its way to Xbox One. Titanfall, not done yet. We got uh, some quotes from Vince Zampella about that. Yeah. And a really, really good PSVR game making its way to the Xbox One next week as well. We'll talk all about that. So I'm Ryan McCaffrey. To my right, Destin Laguerre. Hey, everybody. To my left, the aforementioned Alana Pierce and Marty Sleva. I was very confused by this PSVR game, and then I looked and I was like, yes, that is a very good game. <laughs> it's also playable on a yes, regular yes. television, so that's why I threw that curveball yeah, at you. Excellent. Yeah. That is a good yeah. game. See, everybody's happy. You you guys can't wait to find out what it is now, I bet. <laughs> Stay tuned mm -hmm. for in another X number of minutes from now. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so yeah, it's uh, we are recording a wee bit early. It's Monday. It's Monday morning. It is a weird time to record. People don't really drop news over the weekend. No. So here we are. Yeah. Here we are. Pretty much all the, most of the hey. shows are recording today. So yeah. Don't yeah, forget about the Destiny 2 Pop-Tart deal. Oh, that is a thing that happened. Yeah. Well, the real so thing. What does that yeah. mean? If you get Pop-Tarts, you get Destiny? You get XP boosts. Yeah. It's super weird. <laughs> How come XP boosts are always on food that just kills you? Trash <laughs> food. <laughs> yeah, what is that Mountain Dew at? No, it's just such a weird thing. They're, to, like, they're partnered with Rockstar. So, Wait. yeah, an energy drink and a Pop-Tart. That's, yeah. that's the breakfast of Destiny <laughs> champions right there. Video yeah. games. Yep. Mm -hmm. Healthy. They should have uh, like double XP wake weekends for walking simulators on, like, Kale. <laughs> <laughs> I guess <laughs> on Wall is not really in yeah. response. There's Matcha. Destiny. <laughs> There's this kind of... Quinoa. Kombucha. Kombucha. There's this kind of onesie brand, I believe it is, uh, that sent out a bunch of onesies to gamers in Australia, I think with the idea that, like, you're a lazy slob who sits around <laughs> on the couch. Here's this thing. And so uh, Mark Serrells, who was, I think, the editor of Kotaku Australia at the time, uh, wore the onesie for a full 24 hours, kind of out of spite, and documented the whole thing. It's a very good article. He's like, I was dripping so, in sweat, picking up my kid. I look like an idiot. All the other parents <laughs> are judging me. It's just like, so the, the marketing totally worked on him then because he made content out of he it. He did yeah. put it everywhere, yeah. but it was out of anger, I think. <laughs> hey. But you know what? Hey, marketing is marketing. No publicity is bad publicity. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's just get started. I picked out, I think it was about 10 questions from the Unlocked Facebook group this morning, so I appreciate you guys uh, coming through on that. I want to start with Simon Morris. We'll just go like quick round robin on this kind of stuff. So Simon Morris asks, uh, what's your opinion on HDR and is it worth it? Because Marty, you've talked about a number of times that <laughs> Sony has a press conference and you can't, like they're like, hey, HDR is great. Check it out. Yeah. You can't see it yeah. through video, yeah. through the internet. You have to have it in front of you. Uh, how do we feel about HDR? I'm indifferent. I don't know. I don't really feel strongly one way or the other about it. Uh, if, if you are willing to drop the cash to make sure you get a television that supports HDR, uh, and you're really into video settings and stuff like that, then get it. If you're not, then all right, like that's fine. You you can still experience games for their gameplay and the experience of the game, and that's what's most important in my opinion. Alana, first time that I saw uh, HDR right next to non HDR was actually with Gears Four when I went and visited them, and it was split. The screen was split in the middle, yeah. and one side was HDR, and one side was off. And I was like, oh boy. Mm -hmm. That's what things normally look like. Like the side on the left, it's so washed Format. out and yeah. white. And it's just like seeing HDR on is like, oh, this looks really, really good. Yeah. I, I feel like it is worth a slightly more expensive TV. It's not even that much. Um, that said, I don't have it. And because you're not seeing HDR, it's only if you see it at some point and then go to not seeing it that it's really bad. I think it's worth it, but I can tolerate not having it. Yeah. Right. I completely agree with that. I saw it side by side with uh, Forza Horizon Three, mm -hmm. and that was the. I was like, "Holy crap! Yeah. This looks incredible!" But impressive, right? Yeah, it's, it's super impressive. But it's also one of those things, like you said, it's the same way when like I stream a movie on Netflix or I watch a movie on DVD, and for a second I'm like, "Oh, this isn't Blu-ray," and then five minutes in I stop caring or yeah. stop noticing, yeah. or stop and, thinking yeah. about it. And the good news is it's really not much of a decision to make because pretty much any, f any you know anybody that's there, cause we get asked a lot. Okay, which 4K TV should we get? And we'll get into that as the Xbox One X's release date gets closer, but you don't really, 
even have to decide because most 4K TVs do have uh, the uh, HDR, HDR yeah. support built in. You just have to make sure you're getting HDR10, which fortunately seems to be the the standard that's that's becoming more normal standard. There's also Dolby Vision, uh, which is uh, obviously Dolby's proprietary thing. Some TVs support both. There are some that just support Vision and not HDR10, but just just keep an eye and make sure you're getting HDR10. Note on those TVs, don't buy from Joe's. <laughs> turns, out <it's> not, <laughs> turns out it's a super sketch site. <laughs> and Wait, they, really? The site that we made I, fun of the other yeah, week? Yeah, <laughs> I waited a month for my TV, and I'm like, hey, are they shipping? And the, And the guy's like... Why did you get this one? Why did you get the one made in Mexico? I'm like, cancel my order. And I, I got, I still got the same TV, but from somewhere else. <laughs> wow. Wow. But don't buy from that website. Also, tons of better business bureau complaints about their shipping. And <laughs> don't buy Yikes. from Joe's. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> All right. He was like, what are you, dumb? Why would you get this TV? Was it I'm Joe like, himself? Might, Might have as well have been. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, one dude shipping all those TVs yeah. is, you know, he's got to take a while. He was like making fun of me for my purchasing decisions. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, Good customer service. Uh, Classic Joe. Yeah, go ahead and cancel my order. <laughs> really weird. <laughs> Joe's a big fan of negging. Also, <laughs> keep a real close eye on uh, your credit card statement <laughs> yeah. for the next little while. It's Luckily, <laughs> those are pretty buckled down. Yeah. So. Uh, all right. This is a person whose name I'm probably going to destroy. I'm going to do my best. You know what? I don't even. I just don't want to ruin it. Uh, Mr. or Mrs. Let's, Mrs. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, thank you. Bathanga. That's better. Are loot boxes in a single player game necessary? We're seeing a lot more of these now. No. No. Shadow of War. I was about to say this stemmed from a lot of people over the weekend. Shadow of War has uh, single player microtransactions and loot boxes that um, a Some lot of, of them give you XP. They're totally reasonable. Yeah, a lot of folks in the office are very upset about that. Um, Sarcasm, everybody. Yeah, I mean, I think that this is a precedence that we're going to see more and more going forward. Um, I personally have zero interest in ever purchasing a thing like this. That said, whether I want to like condemn it to hell or not depends on when I play the game. If I feel like, man, my progress is really being curbed unless I pay money, that's when I get pissed. It's also how aggressive it is. Like, yeah. um, Skylanders Imaginators had loot boxes for gear, and it would prompt you to buy it all the time yeah. and I got annoyed and there was one point where I just pressed A enough times through something and I ended up in the store like, and that oh. to me is super gross because that's a game clearly aimed at kids that's so, like, exactly that why they did it yeah. Here, here's yeah. the thing if you guys don't like this you need to stop buying them in Overwatch and buying them in Destiny and all these games that are doing it because they're looking at the business model of these other companies and saying wow that's hugely lucrative from them look at their earnings call look how much money they made from those microtransactions we need a version of that i don't yeah, necessarily agree with that because it it it's people different are in buying multiplayer it. people yeah, are but, buying it but in a game like overwatch or, or pubg it's I'm aesthetic not stuff, yeah. it's I'm aesthetic not, based it's yes. not changing the the Gameplay. actual flow of the game which these are so I'm not arguing whether or not it's right. I'm saying why it's happening. It's happening because companies happening are they make money. the business yeah. model. Yeah. It's making them a ton of money because yeah. everybody's buying them. Shadow War, it sounds really gross. Yeah. I'm not going to like give them a pass. There, I mean, there's two sides to this. One is that it's optional, right? And I always think of that if it's, if it's there and I don't have to do it and it doesn't hinder my progress, I'm kind of okay with it. But the second side of that is that marketing is always there to make you buy stuff. So no matter what, the game is going to be designed around the idea that it wants you to buy microtransactions. And that's that's pretty gross. It's not what I want out of Shadow of War, nor do I think it needs it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, go I'm, ahead. I'm glad they're getting the backlash because hopefully they change their thought process on what they're doing with the, the product right now. Because, yeah, like don't this is gross. Don't do that. Uh, yeah, I would be willing to guess that uh, there are more than a fair share of developers who are putting this stuff in aren't aren't on board with it that it's it's a thing that comes down yeah. from on high that says hey we need to monetize the game yeah this spreadsheet says this is the way to do it so you're doing it but i kind of look at these as and not that not that i'm just going to roll over and let it happen I, voicing your concern is important mm -hmm. but i feel like these are kind of a, a necess not necessary but are, they're an evil we're stuck with for a while cuz uh companies seem to make i money. i want good single player games because we're seeing I don't know if we're literally seeing fewer of those, but it feels like we're seeing fewer and fewer single player I mean, focused. It feels games. like that because it's that once every six months we're like, we're so glad that Wolfenstein is just focusing yes. on the single player, like yeah. as opposed to it yeah. being a given. Yeah, you're totally right. So I want more good single player driven, narrative driven games. And if this is 
how those can get made in the in the current marketplace in the current re- economic reality of the games industry. I guess I'm. I, it's either that or not having the games at all. Yeah, so yeah. I don't know. It's, but yeah, but you're totally right, Alana. It's just there is there is a line, and it's a it's a tough line to I don't walk. Know, is this the, like the the film industry equivalent of product placement? Everywhere in a movie of like, man, I'm really glad a thing like Get Out was able to get made, even though it was clearly funded a lot by Microsoft because everyone was using like Surfaces and I mean, like games have a Windows phone product placement as well. Yeah, but a thing like Shadow of War can't. You could I, put Duracell batteries in there. <laughs> I almost feel like it's maybe the better analogy would be. Uh, movies in 3D. Like this is our this is our 3D sure. phase where everybody's like, yeah, you got to pay the extra 4 bucks to go see it yeah. in 3D cuz it's cooler that way. But it's and not it, even cool. Though. That's well, the problem. Well, it's <laughs> Well, we know that now. Yeah, Microsoft exactly. Transactions <laughs> and 3D on both cooler. cases. But I think uh, we'll get to the point where we'll evolve past this. This is just sort of the moment in time we're in sure. right now. I hope so. Well, companies have identified that this is this makes them a ton of income. Like this is a good way to get more yeah. money. Out of yeah. consumers because wouldn't well, do it if they couldn't. I mean, like, the the Overwatch costumes next week, are awesome. Right? Like, oh, this week, international yeah. is this week, and it's like that is largely funded by people who are spending money on minor things like microtransactions, and like that's what that like is. Yeah. If you want to like go away, you just you got to stop buying them. Unfortunately, I don't know. I I, I totally see the appeal of having them in multiplayer games. And yeah. uh, do you guys know the game Habbo Hotel by any chance? Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it was a PC browser based game, and you existed in a world with tons and tons of people and you had like your own kind of room and I played it when I was really really young it would have been maybe 10 years old and they had a number where you could just call up and it would automatically charge your home phone to let you buy things that you could use to like get furniture inside of your house yeah and being super young I didn't even think about what that meant I did not think about that at all I was like I call this number I buy a new couch this is great and so I spent like 50 dollars and my parents were like what is this and I was like oh that's weird. It's from this website, and they were mad at the website for, for tricking me into well, effectively that's, buying that's things. That's what all, all mobile games. But it's been are around now. for a long time. Yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. I had no idea what I was doing, and I just did it. Yeah, had a sweet pad though. I don't. Yeah. I, I don't like it. Like I wish, as long as there's a way to earn it without spending money, then I'm a little more yeah. okay with it. Like I think Overwatch. Yeah, there does was that. PUBG does that. There was another. Yeah. There was a yeah. game I played last week that I guess I can't say what it is because the embargo is not up yet. Even though that's super dumb, but it, I was playing it going, oh, so loot boxes are in this kind of game now too. Okay, I guess. Yeah. The, I guess whatever. And it's yeah. just kind of I don't know. It's just I have no. I, I think I'm just too old. Like I just don't. I see through the the ruse that is the loot Absolutely. box. I don't yeah. spend enough just, time like, in any them. single yeah. game to be like, all right, this is it. This is where I'm going to set up camp but and I I'm going to build a house. That is largely camp. specific to the nature of our jobs. That's true. Sure. Like I think like maybe less so Destin, you seem to play I, a lot I of play like, games. I try and play two to three games. Like I play PUBG, I play Destiny. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I play where Destiny I would too. think the three of us would play a lot of games sure. quickly to get through yeah, we're, so that we're you can talk about Jack of all trades, master of none. Yeah. And I would think that because of that, we have a really different experience. Yeah. No, and I'm not saying that my way of doing things is better or worse than anyone's. It's just yeah. my personal. Yeah. I think I'm just getting older and I have less time. So I'm like, well, I can play these two games I like a lot. <laughs> That's why I don't everything. do it. Yeah, That's I why do I'm it like, I have less time. Yeah. I need to play less of it. That's why when I like yeah. go like hop into a game and it's like, this is six hours, I'm like, perfect. I will oh, burn through when, it. Yeah. It's Whenever you best. tell me that something six hours yeah. is a game that you played recently, and you're like, yeah, it's like five, six hours. Like, school. I'm the same yeah. exact <laughs> way. If you tell me it's it's 60 hours long, I'm like, I don't think I'm going to get to that game. 36 hours. Not going to happen. All right, let's go to a question from Harley Snowden asking, if you guys could be a voice actor in any game, what would it be and why? Mm. So it's just Alana a, just Fable, a Fable, yeah, yeah. clearly, any Fable, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I want to be like one of the crappy townspeople who just like says really mean stuff to you when you walk past, like yeah. tell you that you smell bad. I want to be that person. Your brand? Yeah. Uh, I would probably be in an upcoming game, Psychonauts Two. Just the first game is one of oh, my favorite yeah, written games of all time, and I just love that world so much. So I'd be like the you kid who. Chicken. No, that's not. That's the another game. You don't chase chickens. <laughs> like lemon. I don't stand there in Psychonauts like a lemon. Smash them up. You do smash things. <laughs> that that right, one, I was like, that. hang on, can I reach for that? Are you okay, like yes. A foreign exchange student. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you say, Destin? Probably, probably some new IP because, like, if I read the script and it turned out to be really interesting, then maybe it would take off and that could start a whole thing. And it'd be neat to be like there at the beginning because I, I like, I like, shepherd. yeah, I like new stories, so it'd be kind of cool to be part of a, a new story being told. Yeah. I would also really like Is a Wall. That would be 
That would be great. We just have to kidnap Laura Bailey and hide her somewhere so they can't find her. I feel like I could mimic Laura Bailey's voice pretty well. I'd have to listen to it, but I feel like I could do that. I mean, I'll bet. Can you do it with a British accent? Laura Bailey with a British accent. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, it's just not Laura Bailey. <laughs> uh, or Overwatch. That would be cool, too. That'd be good. Yeah, I, I would, uh, if if we're really not going to have Michael Ironside back, I think I'd want to be the, the Sam. Sam Fisher. <laughs> that'd, that'd be cool. That'd be good. Yeah. What's your best Sam Fisher? Well, I, I'd, I'd have to probably give my, I wouldn't want to do a, Chief. I wouldn't want to try and do a Michael Ironside impression. No, but you, just, like, you, he's got to be like a certain amount of, you know, Rugged, I yeah, want to say. Give me a line. Uh, what if you're the guy talking to Sam? <laughs> Sam. Oh, Lambert? Yeah. <laughs> Lambert could be good, Damn. too. I'm not old enough to play Lambert, though. I don't think my voice doesn't have enough I think, I think you have to grab age. it. Uh, I'm always amazed by, like, they had the, uh, God, I can't remember his name, but the, the kid who is voicing the Joker in uh, Telltale's Batman in season yes. two. They had him on Up at Noon the other week, and he was this, like, he just made YouTube videos. He was, I think yeah. he's Swedish or... He's, he's European, yeah. and he just uploaded a bunch of YouTube videos of him doing impressions, and Telltale saw that That's so cool. and brought him in. And it was a thing where like he nailed every sort of variation of the Joker, yeah. and they were like, do your own. So I like the idea of like instead of being like, I'm going to do the Heath Ledger or Jack Nicholson yeah. or, or, or you know Batman the Animated Series or Mark Hamill doing your own thing. Yeah, Actually, That's, that would be my other choice. That is cool. To play Batman in a game. Like yeah. like, that would be. I wish I could say brilliant. that. Kevin Conroy is just so good. Why? Yeah, you could be Duke Nukem. Well, that that job's already taken. John, John St. John already, I don't think he's given up that job anytime soon. <laughs> They're like, John St. John has a throat thing. Ryan, we need you. Yeah. I, well, it's the prequel. You, yeah, you we have to do college. Duke, Duke begins. Yeah. Yeah, I Duke made a begins. video of me attempting all of the um, female characters' voices in Overwatch from my YouTube channel a little while ago. Are you can do all the males? I might. I'm, yeah. I'm going to try. I'm very bad at doing male voices. But the next one that I want to try, speaking of male voice, voices, is um, American Presidents. I'm gonna because try and do. The, <laughs> I'm gonna try and do all of the like most iconic American presidents' voices. It's gonna be terrible. It's Duke begins. I'm rushing for my fret. <laughs> Let's make it happen. Uh, all right. Sean Billingsley writes and asks, "What's going on with Halo? I f- I feel that 343 has been very quiet since we got Halo 5. I understand and commend them for the multiplayer support, but seriously, what's going on? They're, they're making a game? Yeah, they're working on Halo yeah, 6. I, <laughs> it's a three-year cycle. I mean, we, sh- we should see Halo 6 announced at E3 and then out in November, most likely. Yeah, yeah and it'll be a big, uh, big, big deal for them next year. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't get a tease this year. Maybe we'll get a tease at Gamescom. Um, maybe. Yeah, maybe. But just, I, I would really be surprised if the first inkling we heard of it was E3 and then it came out four months later. Five you would be surprised yeah. if that I'd happens. be surprised. Yeah, yeah. I just given Halo 5 had that, even though it was a fake tease because we never did right. Desert right. Jesus. The good old potato poncho. sack. Yeah. Yeah. Counterpoint, they still are trying to get as many people to play and keep playing Halo 5 as possible. You know, they've done, it's in uh, Game Pass. It's the, all the maps are free. Mm-hmm. They've done all this this great stuff uh, support wise. You might as well just wait and announce Open. Halo 6 because yeah. you're still still going to get yeah. maximum impact when you do. Yeah. So money's on E3 2018 for that one. <laughs> Scott Mackey says, okay, Phil Spencer will put money in any game idea, any game idea, to fund your dream game, money is no issue. What is that game? Marty, oh. go. Jesus. Whoa, jeez. Oh. Uh, just a ba- banjo. New banjo. That could happen. They own yeah. that. Yeah. Just new banjo. Just, yeah. Rare, is Rare making it, or you got somebody else in mind? Uh, no, Rare, Rare, Rare can make it. You bring in some of the. You want Platonic to make it? Bring in, have, have Rare and Platonic do a little joint operation. Yeah. Uh, my answer to this is always uh, Batman Arkham, but with the entire Justice League. But I feel oh. like I can do oh, better. The but rumor out there. The no, I changed mine. I want uh, uh, Rock City to make a Harry Potter game. And I want the Nemesis system inside of Hogwarts. That would be cool. <laughs> it's like, that, where it's like, like a that. Mean Girls esque cast system. That would be really yeah. cool. I like that. Mine's Superman. I want to make a great Superman. A real game. Superman so game. Justice I like League that. idea. Yeah. yeah. So, Phil, just buy uh, Rock City. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. I don't even know. That's, that's, a, that's a really good. I had one earlier and like an idiot didn't write it down. Uh, yeah. And Was it a Superman game? No, it wasn't a <laughs> Superman game. I'd also take like new iterations. Oh, I of remember Deadly what it was. Premonition. Just yeah, every year, every year. <laughs> yeah, just isn't, like a different. Once isn't have it be like Deadly Premonition 2018? <laughs> yeah, just have it numbered like Madden. Yes, yeah. yes, I would absolutely be. Uh, that. It, mine would be a Star Trek Online, but not the Star Trek Online that exists. Like <laughs> an actual 
mega galaxy where every starship, Federation starship, ha actually has hundreds of people on it doing cool little jobs. Uh, and planets are f fully, like, I'm talking massively multiplayer. Well, sort of like EVE Online, but each ship has, like, a crew? A, yeah. Yeah. That's but, cool. So, but yeah, just to take, like, actually take Star Trek The Next Generation and turn it into a massively multiplayer online video game. It would take way too much money. I think it's impossible. It would take way too much. Even if you could make that game, it would probably take 15 years just to build that game. But mm -hmm. there you go. Here, That's my choice. Here's the problem. Who do you put on like the the weapons, the photons, or what do they use? The ace photons. You got to work your way up. Yeah. Well, yeah. no, the guy You're in like there space is like, janitor at the beginning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, here's what happens in that scenario. Oh, we got a combat scenario. Everybody on deck. Guys on the lasers. What are you doing? You hear a bong hit in the background. <laughs> yeah, there's like, there's like, like, there's totally one guy not. whose mic isn't Sorry, working. man. Well, there's, okay. there's one guy who's like playing music in the background. And you can hear it through his mic, so yeah. no one else can hear what anyone else is saying. Yeah. <laughs> Turn off the rap. Yeah. <laughs> That's when you get court martialed or space marshaled. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Just throw you out of the game. We'll just eject the 12 year you olds, like you your put best in the guy. Server. <laughs> you got it right. Yeah. It's a tough question. Yeah, it's good though. Mm. Michael Hamilton, if you could revive any Xbox IP, but you also had to put one IP out to pasture, what would you revive and which would you destroy? I bring back Splinter Cell, kill Assassin's Creed. <laughs> oh. Not Actually, an, not I, an Xbox. I, those are those, Ubisoft is uh, not a wholly owned subsidiary. What's, <laughs> what's what, good point? What's dead? And actually, Origins looks really cool. Uh, I just said kill you, Alan Wake, but Alan Wake's already dead, so it's <laughs> like I don't just what, kill it again anyway. What's what are Xbox wow. franchises that are dead? Uh, Mech War. Well, Mech Mech Assault. Yeah. Uh, Crimson Skies. Crimson Skies. And then like bring Can't back would be Banjo. Uh, yeah, yeah, Banjo's MIA. Yeah. Bring back the Mech. Well, any of the rare stuff, pretty much. I would bring back uh, Conquer. Yeah, what, yep. what would you kill? What am yeah, I killing? I? I'm killing. Uh, can't kill Scalebound. It's already dead. Oh, uh, Just say that. That's an easy answer. Bring Just back what? Kill that game. Scalebound. Kill Marty's banjo idea. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, you know what? I would say. I would say. I would rather have that than so um, than Crackdown. So. Yeah. <laughs> I would say. Sorry, Crackdown. Yeah, can which I say one? A Crackdown. Oh no! Which if one I, do you want to bring back? Conquer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, can I like a, can like I a big budget Can I cheat and say bring yeah. back all those rare IP? No. Uh, rare replay, but rare replay, but it's all but new it's not games. Replay, <laughs> rare new play. It's just rare. Rare new play. Bring rare. back Donkey Kong Country. Thirty new games. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, RC Pro M Next Generation. Yeah. What are you getting rid of? Uh, Perfect Dark Next. The uh, the hardcore Forza games. I still want Horizon. Motorsport. Motorsports. Oh, those. Are I like. don't agree with that at all. Yeah. No. Oh wow. Bad. You. Oh, I'm sorry. So Banjo's dead. Congrats! <laughs> you have the bear she blood and kill bird Banjo blood also. on your hand. You gonna why? Of all the things you could choose, why would you get rid of Forza Motorsport? Because there's not that many current active IP. There's the two Forzas. That's there's why Gears, you say Alan Halo. Wake. Just it's entertain not a, the idea it's that it's not active. active. I'm sorry, I answered the question. Just with pretend. A Name something that's active. Are you gonna kill Halo, Gears? <sighs> no. Um, <laughs> Cuphead. Can I kill? Don't kill like, Cuphead. Can I kill Crackdown do and bring back Scalebound? <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, that'd could, be an interesting actually. toss up. You All right, could. I kill uh, Halo Wars. I don't care about that. I care Ooh, about Forza Motorsport Wars. less yeah. than Halo Wars. Oh, yeah. Come on, Ensemble. Like you're killing them well, all they're over already, again. Okay, well, all right. You can't <laughs> you can't answer this question while thinking about the people. <laughs> Those poor people, they're children. Oh no. <laughs> okay, all developers have children. Less than, all, all developers. developers don't have children. <laughs> wow, Marty. All right. It, well, the ones okay. that don't have human children, their game is their child. Yeah. That's I mean they You gave my child a six. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of sad if you think. Oh man. I don't like this question. Well, this We're segment, fighting. This segment's going We're real bad. Tearing our family apart. Uh, okay. Khalid Albadoodle wonders. What is your favorite controller of all time? Doesn't have to be Xbox, obviously. Just one of favorite controller. It is yeah, the mine. best controller of all time. Which one? The the pro, the, the current I one. I think I agree. Yeah. yeah, I also agree. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. it's it's, it's the best fantastic. controller ever made. I thought the 360 was the best controller ever made, but at the time, I thought the Xbox One controller improved on that. Even though I know some people criticize the bumpers, I, I never thought it had was a, a little bit too them. big when I first held it, and then I got used to it and went back to a 360 controller. And was like, oh no, yeah. this and is much better. The Elite's yeah. better, and even though unfortunately nobody still nobody uses it. But the haptic feedback in the triggers in the like three games that use it is cool. It's yeah. a really cool thing when it's utilized properly. You, you got any? Uh, yeah, I mean, my thing is, here, Marty. Or? My thing is, I think controllers just keep getting better. So 
I play th- most third-party games on my PS4, so I'm more comfortable with it. But I think the the DualShock Four and the Elite the thing, are the two, probably my one and two. Whenever I'm playing PS4, yeah. I have to move my own thumb all the time. I have to do this to my thumb. Is your thumb okay? Because it, it slips scared. forward on the the thumbstick, so uh, I have to like. And I wonder if that's because I'm so used to playing on Xbox One. I literally have small? to adjust my hand all the time on a DualShock. No, I don't know. I play. Yeah, crazy. I'm pretty comfortable swapping, but I ha- like Sean refuses to play on a PlayStation. He like he's like I can't do it. I need staggered sticks. I yeah, yeah I, that's the thing. If, we, if they would take for PS5, if they would just for DualShock Five. Yes, <laughs> off, offset the sticks, and they would go a long way towards yeah. making me happy. Yeah, I think that's what I I guess my thing is I don't play, a, like, Sean plays primarily, like, Twitch-based shooters, yeah. and I don't, like, I don't know, I put uh, 105 hours in a Persona, and that's not, yeah. like, at no Let's point just, was I really worried about. I mean, just with anything where I'm running a lot, then I just have to. I, I don't know. Move. That's that's weird. I don't. Is like it's, that's, is the that's, grip coming off of that mine? was ultimately why I chose the 360 over the PS3 on launch, just because the controller. There was a reason. That to me. There so was a he's nuts. I'm with you. I have yeah. the same thing where I'm just playing and it's like boop. Where yeah. there it goes. Get your thumbs. Just start get control of your thumbs, guys. There's a reason the Xbox controller is the most copied, and there is a reason that it's paired with almost every product that you like. The Oculus, I mean, that's part example. of why I say it's because it's, it's best. Fantastic. Is because it works with the Oculus. It like works with PC. Like it works very very seamlessly with those things as well. And I think that's part of why it's the best. There's a reason those guys partnered. It's because it's the best controller. To be fair, I think. DualShock 4 is officially supported on PC. On PC now, now it yeah. is, yeah. yeah. They, they, that was semi recent. Worst so. controller of all time is uh, the N64 controller. I have I a have fondness nostalgia. for it, but it is really bad. I have nostalgia. I got Literally yeah. a third of it is useless. I got one that tops that. Why does I own it even... the system. The Duke? Atari Jaguar. It had a oh. keypad, a, a, oh. like a 12 button keypad at the bottom. That was a weird thing for developers <laughs> at the time. They had so many different ways to develop yeah. games that, like, well, they like played the, a first the standard shooter on that set, thing. Yeah. Yeah. Aliens vs. Predator, the original. Yeah. The Crazy. 64 control was like, you'd hold it like that and then went one hand over there, but then occasionally you'd have to, like, press the AV button. So you'd just, like, it was. It was well, you would never, weird. no game used the D pad section. Yeah. You were just holding it like a, like a weird. Uh, I think you'll rod. find, actually, um, Pokemon Stadium did. It sucks. That was that Chansey game that was like, Chansey. I know, you, you talk about like the Chansey the... game a weird amount. I'm very right. aggressive when it comes to that game. Louis Martin, as someone who oh, is hey, still... we met Louis uh, oh, yeah, last right. week. Yeah. Hello, Louis. Excellent. Mm-hmm. He, he asks, uh, as someone who is still relatively new to the Xbox ecosystem, do the earlier iterations of the Microsoft staples, i.e. Gears, Halo, Forza, hold up today, or would it be better to just jump straight into the current gen version? Well, this is a really good question. They remade them. I say play the remakes, yeah, mm-hmm. definitely, because you go back and play Forza Gears 1, so. it's a little dated. Yeah. yeah, I think Forza less so. I think Gears still holds up. Yeah, I, I think so too, Gears. because it, it, it's such a good feeling game, yeah. and, and that like third-person cover system is so effective that it mm-hmm. still yeah. feels smooth. But you have Same the remake, Halo. and the remake's fantastic. Yeah, that's so what like, yeah. I totally mean, yeah, start yeah. with the remake. But I think if you if you didn't, I think playing Gears 1 or Halo 1 still works. Forza, I would think not. Yeah, there's Forza by design. There's mm-hmm. You would never go back to the original Forza Motorsport. Yeah. You'd just play 7. Yeah, it's Halo, <laughs> Halo is one that holds up fairly well, mm-hmm. but again... Yeah bunch of remakes out there that you can play for like an upgrade. I version. mean, that's just a testament to good game design. Like yeah. we had uh, Cisco in our office was uh, replaying Call of Duty 2 the other day on PC. Yeah, and I remember. It still looked incredible and it still yeah. played great. Like, I mean, that's a, what, 11 year old game? Yeah. yeah. Even Fable you could go back yeah. to. Oh, well. absolutely, yeah. Original mm-hmm. Fable. Actually, that all yeah. um, I guess it, there's a few where it works. There's yeah. a few where like Forza, for example, it's just like cars look better. Although I will say, version. even though Forza, the three Forza Horizons, they've gotten successively from starting from really good to you know now unbelievable but just because they're set in different places you know the first one was in college you could go back to horizon one if you wanted to i probably I well you have to start with horizon one though i don't think you could go from three to one i think that would be hard oh because no there'd be yeah so you're many totally features right missing yeah. That would drive you crazy yeah no you, you you'd have to <laughs> you'd have Work to start way early you know. yeah okay let's see who's we got a couple more here uh garvin edwards what do you guys think will be the top-selling piece of hardware this holiday season? And I guess mm. we're going to... He's given us a list, this and I guess we're sticking to this list. So the Xbox One X, the Switch, the PS4 Pro, or PlayStation VR. So apparently we're leaving out vanilla PS4 and Xbox One S I would from say, this list. Sorry, I would say Switch, but they have a terrible time of keeping inventory. So I think that's going to limit how many they're going to be able to sell for the holiday season. The X, I think it's going to sell out like when it when it comes out initially because all the hardcore people are going to pre-order. 
and it's going to be hard to get to start. So again, limited inventory. It also comes out later. It's not out yet. It comes out. It's true, November seventh. Yeah. So that puts them at a disadvantage. So, so for those reasons, I'm going to say pro because it's on the market. There's plenty of inventory. There's no issues. I actually think it'll be the Switch I of these. Switch as well. Of these, yeah. uh, I think Nintendo. We've started to see the uh, the retail supply increase a little bit. I was able to snag one. Um, like they were they were up on one of the major retailer websites mm-hmm. for like not just f- five seconds. Like it was up there for at least a whole morning, if not longer. And I was able to get one for my nephews that I'm going to sit on till Christmas. So yeah, I think as that gets better and better. I think the Switch is going to be if the top seller of, of those. Obviously, it's going to be the real answer is the Xbox One S yes. or the vanilla yeah. PS4. Yeah. Yeah. Like a t- throw, flip a coin. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just an inventory issue for me. Like, if I knew Switch was going to have plenty of inventory, Switch. Like, that's going to be the Christmas gift this year, probably, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, X, they're not going to, they're going to launch limited yeah, they'll inventory. Be, right, exactly. So. You're exactly correct. It'll yeah. be a supply issue not a, not necessarily plus you know and again hey it's five hundred dollars versus these other ones are roughly half that that's where's my pre-order it's, phil it's intended to be a premium <laughs> thing not a sell 10 million of them at once thing yeah. i want my pre-order links phil come on buddy one day one day two one more day? joshua Faley. if you could pull a mitch dyer and write for a gaming franchise write a game for the for an existing franchise which franchise would you write for um i think i can start here i I would love a crack at Halo. Not I'd probably need a fresh start. <laughs> I don't mm-hmm. know if I could if I could write my way out of where they are now. But I lo- I've always loved Halo and I've been playing them all the way and I've been, you know, championing them when I love them and critical when I don't. Um be I I couldn't do it to be clear. That is <laughs> the th- 343 are the professionals. There's a reason I'm sitting here behind this desk. But I think that I think I would I would take a crack at a Halo game. Mm-hmm. Sam goes into a dimly lit room. Turn off the mobile. What's a mobile? They have an in-depth conversation about it. That's a throwback to the Unlocked episode where I didn't know what a mobile was. <laughs> <laughs> the callback no one was looking for. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, probably, uh, I think Splinter Cell or a, yeah. any stealth game would be fun to write for. Thief? Modern, modern All stealth. Right. Yeah. Splinter Cell's good. That's a good choice. Over on this side of the table. Fable, South Park, or Gears. South Fable Park. would be really fun. South Park is because it's my favorite show ever, and I would love to be able to write for South Park, just in general. Uh, to also, would never be able to do that. And then Gears <laughs> is because I feel like I know it really intimately, and I'm very attached to that universe. I feel like Gears is the one that I could do of those things. The rest, not really. Fable, I guess. You just, you just say whatever you want. You yeah. just throw swears at people. <laughs> yeah, I can yeah, do that. Create some Plan. sort of Sarah. Create oh, some sort of on. really <laughs> destructive <laughs> precipitation. Yeah. Um... <laughs> What kind of person is it? Freezer hail. <laughs> uh, I think I would uh, Red Dead maybe. Nice. Westerns are my favorite yeah. genre. Uh, I could see you of, of fiction and uh, movies. So I feel like you know, I'd like a mm. stab at a That'd Western. That'd be cool. Yeah. So close. Yeah. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> it's all, all we think. know. It's, it's I, I kind of stopped thinking think about it. it. Yeah. I think it's next. That's what they want. Don't forget. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I mean, they're putting. Why would billions of dollars into that yeah. game. So that gonna, game's going to be fine. Yeah, I'm sure. It's canceled? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's one of those games I'll play a lot of. Red Dead. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Uh, finally, Rob Bowman. What now defunct third-party games could Xbox acquire as first-party exclusives? I, I have to immediately... Oh, the Splinter Cell segment. Splinter Cell, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just, I mean, that's the clear winner for me. Just bring it back. Let's let's bring it back. Crisis. And Good. Rise, Bruh. both same company, Look right? At, yeah, Crytek. Yeah. yeah, just buy Crytek. They that probably would be a really Crisis good alignment. And Rise for Xbox. are interesting choices. Just buy Crytek. Like mm-hmm. I feel like another Rise game could be really good. That first game, uh, I, it was. Rise would be really it had good. such a good premise. Like just, story was great. Lead yeah. character was great. Mm-hmm. That ending was great. Yes, there were segments that I really liked. It's kind of the connect support, <laughs> <laughs> which I really like. That Marty always makes fun of me for. Yes, I do. Um, I also really like Crisis. Fire. It was great. Yeah, it was cool. so much fun. That was fun. good use of it. Um, I, I feel like they bought them yet. That'd be such so smart. Well, they, they, they like fell apart a in a fire. Yeah. yeah, It was not a fire. You can't it say it was a fire. It may as well have been a fire. An emotional well, fire. No, there wasn't yeah, an actual fire. Emotional. Yeah, um, it really fell apart. I feel like the uh, we bring this up a lot. The thing that uh, X party or the Xbox first party lineup is missing that uh, Sony has had in spades this year are big, meaty, single-player games. So mm-hmm. Horizon, Persona, uh, Nier, Neo... Uh, yeah, that kind of stuff. So I feel like 
from defunct stuff, uh, bringing back Prince of Persia, bringing Good back one. Jade Empire. Yep. Um, Sony Santa Monica. Oh, no. Buy Sony Santa Monica. Yeah, but, yeah. No one's doing anything with that, with that Gears of War, right? Yeah. Or God of War. Too many GLWs. G's of War. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you all so much for sending in those questions at the last second on our Unlocked Facebook group. Let's move to what little news we have, Whoa. starting with uh, Rainbow Six Siege continuing. Uh, you talk about legs. This is, uh, and particularly in the in the world of first person shooters, there are not a lot of shooters that have legs like this. Uh, Twenty million registered players, two point three million people logging on every day. I still play this game occasionally. It's not a lot of stuff that I go back to, but I still play Siege occasionally. It's really good. It's so good. Yeah. It's well. very hard. I scream while playing Siege. Like it's not a horror game, who's, but it'll uh, be like I'll who's be just your like, class? Who do you like? Um, I play as the the lady. <laughs> the the. You have to refresh because I reviewed this game, but it was a long time ago. Oh, well, she's newer than that. What's DLC, her? But I started her, oh, with she's a new pack. character. I couldn't tell you the name of the class. She was in the first pack, I think. Right? Yes. Yeah. I can't remember her name either. Yeah. But I, I really like the Rook. I have no idea. Yes. Uh, no, no, no. Rook's what you start with. I don't think she's a Rook. I like the. There's a, a class that you can. Um, Automatically break down any barriers. Well, that's I, I, I like sledge. that a lot. Is Sle- that sledge? Sledge is my. You just take a sledgehammer. And so I liked that class go a whole right lot. To a wall. Um, but pretty much anything that'll give me a shotgun, I tend to like. Uh, Your close quarters player. Oh, I kind of changed. I feel like I haven't really stuck to anything. But the goal yeah. was I played as because she looked like me. So. <laughs> um, yeah. it's, a, it's, it's like it's a, a SWAT really good police game. officer, right? That's, well, I guess never mind. They're all cops. Yeah, I think so. They all kind of look like that. I want there's uh there's there's, a, there's a, an ability that lets you shoot through walls. Guns. You mean lets you see through them and know where enemies e- are? No, there's that's a, the heartbeat tracker thing, right? Yeah. That's also cool. Yeah, but I, I like I do a lot of scouting as well in that game, which is something that I love. Like you know the little drone, yes. the way they jump, like that's so much fun. Yeah, <laughs> you get caught and it's free, terrifying. Free mission. Uh, it's just it's just yeah. a really good game. It's really really intense, and like you think you're fine on a floor, and you're like scoping things out, and then you hear a gun. Fo- Gunshot and you just freaking out. It's then your wall starts breaking apart and you're like, oh no. Yeah, I'm not I'm not great with the barriers though. I don't do a ton of that. You Barrier. saying SWAT just made me want SWAT. The return of uh you know you guys remember who did the last SWAT game? Ken Levine, right? Ken Levine. Yeah. Irrational. Did the did SWAT four years ago. Gosh, mm-hmm. that must have been like 2000, 2001, 2002 kind of time I frame. I feel like Siege is one of the first games that I played that is like in part stealth where there's um, barbed wire. Like, can you think of anything Close else that had that? Yeah, but it also makes noise. And like that, uh, I feel Gears like that's a really interesting Gears 3's thing. horde mode. Oh, you're totally right. You would put it where yeah. you'd put that yeah, down that, and then your I, enemies I like could try to come count, through it. But it does slow them down. It does yeah. that in 4 as well. Yeah. You got to shoot it with your shotgun until yeah. it breaks Like, apart. how do you carry that around in war? Yeah. Isn't that super annoying? <laughs> like, who carries the barbed wire around? Ow. That'd be Ow. interesting. Ow. Like, Ow. <laughs> like Call of Duty World War II, you throw down something and people get stuck in it. Yeah. I mean, I know this game has kind of become a almost a platform now. You know, they're just they're just building off of it. But what are they do right now. It's uh, I forgot what it's called. They're basically fixing a bunch of stuff right now. It's like it's like Operation Dumbo Drop. No, they haven't. They haven't. It's not that. It was a film. They have a name for it uh, where they basically delayed the last piece of DLC that they were supposed to put out because they wanted to fix a patch or something. They mm. they just wanted to fix a bunch of stuff that was wrong with it that I didn't even realize was wrong with it. I do hope though. So uh, I mean, uh, really bad with names. A sequel. <laughs> a sequel is inevitable. I think at this point, even though they are clearly just evolving this one and having it have a super long tail. But when the se- I just hope when the sequel eventually uh, does arrive that they go the the Titanfall to Battlefront two route and have a single super player. kick-ass yeah. single player game attached to it as well. Rainbow Six Vegas you- two is still one of my favorite single player experiences like I love that was really so good. much and then I was devastated when they announced that Siege wasn't going to have one it's like just even if it's short you know like and well, the, the co-op yeah. and that was so good as well the, 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 the so like favorite. the secret unlockable mission at, mm-hmm. if you do all the the little trial things and see we're scene. really bad you reviewed it didn't you I did yeah. <laughs> it was a long time ago but it's the you know with the chemical weapons attack thing yeah. and you're going in with the gas mask like that totally I said this in the review. That was like a tease. That was like, see, we totally we could have made a single player out of this. We just didn't. But here's yeah. what it would look like, and it would be really well, good. Yeah, maybe they had it at some no, point. I get, and I get it against it. Of course, but yeah, let's let's get that. In Vegas too. You could uh, command your squad mates and be like, go go go. go. Like, like it was so much fun. They released. 
That's the kind of thing you're thinking. Like, remember the concept they released that never came to light? Well, Patriots Patriots was a different. I mean, that was a single player game that would have saying that would have been cool. Yeah, if I mean, Ubisoft just doesn't do that as much anymore. Division? Yeah, I mean, but even that, I wouldn't say is like the story that I would want from a Rainbow Six. Yeah, it's fun building up your base, but then after that, it's kind of like you're done. That was cool. I like that, and like having to pick which bots you were unlocking and all that stuff. Yeah. So. Uh, good stuff in the Rainbow Six universe. Uh, Spotify, for those of you that are Spotify users, the Spotify app appears to be imminent for Xbox One. It's all but confirmed. It uh, has a product page on Xbox.com. You just can't download it yet. So uh, the highlight of this appears to be uh, that apparently you can play your music in the background of any game. So you can just get get that app going and then launch a game and all your music's there. So That's awesome. That That's is pretty good. good. And just a couple other notes. Thumper is on the way to Xbox One. I was doing Marty, you under the this. table collapse. Yeah. yeah. I want to play it too recently. I played on a lot of it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah this game's great. Uh, you mentioned PSVR. Yeah, it's it's really cool in VR. It's also great non VR. It's a. Uh, I've only played it on Switch. Yeah, it's a uh, rhythm based. You're on a track and you're a little bug <laughs> and you have to press uh, buttons in time with like things that are streaming towards you in like a guitar hero kind of way but based on the way that the thing looks there's a different button combination mm. and some of them are really complicated like yeah. press A and hold up and then press down at the right time and um, some things will like if you get it wrong it'll kill you and you have to start the level again so it's it's yeah. super intense the game and, is a, really a sensory overload I think they, they coined the term rhythm violence simulator <laughs> kind of? uh, because the game it is just like increases your heartbeat gets incredibly intense absolutely i played a bunch of it on a plane and mm-hmm. felt like my heartbeat was like increasing yeah. just sitting there because the game's like just so and i feel like i don't blink when i play mm-hmm. it. yeah it reminds me a little bit of like super hexagon if you've ever played that on your phone yeah. where it's something you can pop in every once in a while but um really cool and, and just unique in terms of games on xbox so people should check that mm-hmm. out and you mentioned guitar hero on it almost it almost sounds like a game that we would have expected a harmonics bit. to make yeah like almost <laughs> yeah like amplitude frequency yeah. kind of yeah. yeah and it sounds Good. Like it's not. I feel like the sound is not as satisfying as other rhythm games, like uh, like Child of Eden or like th- things like that. Um, like sound shapes. It's mm-hmm. not quite as nice as that, but it does. It does sound really cool and, and look cool. Um, it's yeah. I I think it's awesome. Mm-hmm. Depends how much it is. I guess. Cool. We'll look for that on Xbox One next Friday. And finally, this week, Titanfall uh, is not done yet. You know the the story has been told now of the, the legend of Fall 2016 and how that didn't really go so well. Uh, relatively speaking, for Titanfall being being uh, sandwiched directly between Battlefield 1 and Call of Duty Infinite War. Fair. <laughs> Nailed it. Fin- <laughs> saved it. But uh, Respawn CEO Vince Zampella, he uh, talked to GameSpot and he said, it's important for us to keep the franchise going. Uh, we have our franchise creative director who's in charge of safeguarding the franchise in multiple formats and making sure it continues to grow. Zampella went on to stress that Respawn is, quote, heavily invested in the Titanfall universe, saying that there's content that they're working on that hasn't been announced yet. He says, we're working on more Titanfall. We're not announcing what that is yet, but there's a few other things in the works. I'm glad to hear this. I mean, yeah. Yeah. So, thank God. Two was such a criminally under... Uh, it was appreciated. Not underrated. Yeah, not underrated. Undersold, it got great scores. Just un- under seen. Yeah. <laughs> not enough yeah. people played it and saw it it was very fun a lot of cool mechanics i i hope they make three and well they're gonna make three it sounds like seems like i feel like they would be dumb too yeah hopefully it'll be out in well february i mean if it's not selling it's always running that danger true yeah Yeah. it was i mean how did they make it better like it's fantastic you don't need to make it like you just don't release it when they did i still can't fathom why they did that Seems like such a when, when did it launch? An EA thing. It was, the, it was the first week of November, like you said. It was oh, literally right between, it was re- in between Call of Duty Battlefield. and Battlefield. But around March. Yeah. 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 I mean, the so, first one came out early in, in the year. Yep. Yeah. March. It was a yeah. March. Yeah, March like 2014 March. Xbox yeah. exclusive, and it was you know, it, and it got a ton of attention. I really liked it. it. Yeah. But it also it had, had too much missing. Yeah. Like it was one of those games that you played in an event and it was the best thing ever and then you played it at home and you got sick of it kind of like Evolve. Like I've actually played a lot of it, but um, I think it had too much missing yeah. for... But two rectified all of that and then it just came out at a dumb time. Exactly. Yeah, so it didn't yeah. rectify yep. it enough. It addressed every single falling that the original had mm-hmm. <laughs> and did not get rewarded for it. Yeah. I wonder, it, man, I got to get like Andrew Wilson in here and just be like... and What's up with that? Yeah. Hey, 
Well, this so I would think just, it's, there are no cameras right now. I would Let's definitely <laughs> think it's an EA call and not. I would oh, yeah. think so. I would 100% think it's an EA call. Yeah, game. I can't imagine Vince Ampella was like, yes, please release my game in my burgeoning franchise directly between East your East. own other game <laughs> yeah. and the family that's huge mm -hmm. and the the single biggest IP in the not called Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's rough. Yeah. It's a tough, tough spot to. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the. Almost literal video game rock in a hard place. Yeah. <laughs> they were caught yeah. between on that. Yeah. I'm really, I'm just curious for what the future of respawn is between. Yeah, me too. With Star Titanfall, and then with Star Wars. Yeah, I don't know. Should be interesting. All right, marketplace report. There might be a few more ID at Xbox games dropping as the week goes on, but uh, I've pulled everything that's up for now between uh, last episode and when we're recording today. Alana, what is out there to spend money on? Retail, still nothing. Uh, digital, we have Telltale's Batman The Enemy within episode one, The Enigma. Which I reviewed. Yeah, I was going to wait till I was going to wait till uh, the full season came out, because that's what I did with season one, and I loved playing it that way, but Dan Stapleton was like, please Dude, review this for <laughs> us. So I was like, okay, but Thumbs yeah, up no, it was, I really nice. liked it. Yeah, okay. it's, it is clear, this is a, what I like about, what I liked about season one is that it's um, a very adult M-rated, like, all bets are off kind of take on Batman that takes, there are a, a couple of well-established characters that they just absolutely flip, flip the script yep. on. Yeah. And it's clear from episode one that there, there are going to be a lot of very dire and permanent consequences for characters again in cool. season two. And I really, really like the first episode. It's about the Riddler as the title, the Enigma suggests, oh. but it's actually, he's the <laughs> least interesting character in, mm. uh, Oh. In episode one, it's but everybody else has pays off and sets up some really cool nice. uh, narrative so do you, arcs. Do you play the original series or do you start here? Is this different? I mean, it's season two. You could start here. Yeah, I, would uh, think I, I feel like would, you should. I would suggest playing yeah. season one. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and it has season one has ups and downs, but I think ultimately I had a positive experience. Yeah, I feel too. like I, I averaged sure. like a, a close to an eight. I think it was a high seven was the yeah. average because I reviewed most of that season. Yeah. Like, I think uh, episode two was my favorite, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, yeah, there was like things that. that I really liked and things that I didn't like so much, but still worth it. I yeah, think. it uh, throwing the, sort the of Batman tropes and stereotypes on its head, I thought was yes. really cool and yeah. sticking to it. You know? Yeah. Um, so that's $5. Race Arcade is $10. Mr. Shifty is $15. The Way is $10. And Oh Sir, the Insult Simulator is $3. Hey, what's up with that? What's what's that game? Oh, sir. You're an idiot. The insult knowing. Simulator? Boom. Insult simulated. Oh, Nailed dang. it. Yeah. It's just, you got to assert It's just a negging simulator. <laughs> um, I actually put that on every night before I go out. <laughs> uh, marketplace. August Games with Gold. We have Slime Rancher, August 1 to 31 on Xbox One. Trials Fusion. Welcome to the Matrix. Every week. August for a month. 16 to September 15, uh, Xbox One. Bayonetta, August 1st to 15th on Xbox okay. 360 and Xbox One. And Red Faction Armageddon, August 16 to. <laughs> Three again, Ryan. Just, it's, you got clearly get over it. Paste it. Just get over it. <laughs> Xbox Three Sixty goes back Xbox in time. One. It's because I don't know if it's thirty or thirty-one, man. It you said thirty-one at the top. I assume though. it's thirty-one. Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Machine, all right. the future. Let's do a little trivia. All right, all right. Still a four-point advantage for Marty. Destin beginning to. Have sweat panic attacks. Yeah. Got the meat sweats. I, that flop yeah. sweat. Definitely don't know the answer. Uh, Joe Arroyo asks During the original Xbox Live beta, so we're talking 2002 right now, what unpublished game, a game that wasn't out yet, was given to testers during the beta? I was nine years old. <laughs> That's not my problem. <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, Marble Madness Online, Revolt, RC Pro Am, or Marathon? Us olds, this is a layup for me. Ugh. Marty probably knows. I love that no, none I mean, of you know this. I don't. You're all off the show. <laughs> well, I was no. nine. You saw Dunkirk this weekend. That was about events that were from when you were negative. Oh, 40. you're right. Dunkirk, the events of that are very similar to the original Xbox. You know about <laughs> World War II. You, that excuse yeah, of, of I was important. That excuse I wasn't old enough is such BS. That's such crap. You realize you're able to watch movies from before you were born? Yeah. yeah one watch of these the Xbox things Live is about movie. World War II, and no, one of them is about movies. the original Xbox Have you ever watched Live Star Wars? Beta. Do you know anything about Star Wars? That was from before you were born. I, I only watched Star Wars for the first time last year. Well, that's just because you're bad at keeping up with art. 
<laughs> it was before I was born. Shut up. So I'm going to say. Such a bad uh, excuse. Looks like nobody this, knows I do this, not think this except is, for I, me. Well, I get to guess, right? Go, guess. Go right. ahead. Uh, I'll go with C. Okay. Marty? I did D marathon. It doesn't matter. Get me out of here. I was going to go with A. <laughs> okay. All you losers got it wrong. Damn it, it's oh, B. Oh. It was literally a coin flip because I know the top and bottom one came out on 360. Uh, yeah, oh, Marathon came, uh, they, they sort of ported it. The original you know, Mac version came out as an Xbox Live Arcade game. RC Pro-Am never came to Xbox until the Rare Replay. Yeah. Uh, and then Marble Madness Online, I don't even know if that's a real thing. I, had I a thought Marble Revolt game, but it wasn't, wasn't Marble Madness. Yeah, I mean, there was Marble Madness. I don't know if there's an online version, but yeah. Revolt. So, all right, nobody don't gets any call point. this a layup. This isn't a layup. <laughs> this is I like, said for us this is, old. This is a like blindfolded half-court shot. <laughs> Marble. I guess I'm really oh, good yeah. at those. <laughs> I Marble hate that Madness. we all think of an early, early indie this game. This crap. Yeah. What? Marble Madness was an early 360 online game with online play, like an indie game. Yeah, like a smaller game. Well then, we've set the record straight there. Uh, please try to stump these fools again. Do the uh... I went revolt. I needed that point. <laughs> It, send your Xbox trivia question. Include four multiple choice answers. Uh, note the correct one in your email, and uh, please email it to unlocked at ign.com. And we'll try again next week, Destin. Sorry, I'm not here next week. <laughs> oh, even better. You got you can throw <laughs> shovel more dirt on his, his grave. Are we filming on Monday as well? Next I don't know. I have to look at the calendar. I don't think so. I think this was the only Monday one. I think it might be Thursday, Thursday next, next week. week. I'll check. We'll find out. Mm. Wait, anyway. what time Thursday? Oh, you're busy. I'm here Thursday. No one, no one cares that's listening. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> yeah. So let's, anyway, let's okay. uh, look over our studio schedule for the next six months and yeah, let everyone live on the to. air because that's compelling radio. That's what we do here. Anyway, uh, Destin, what are you up to? Uh, I'm doing the big PUBG thing today. That's happening later today. So look for that on IGN. Great. Soon. Cool. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Destin Legary and still streaming at twitch.tv slash the Destin channel. Thanks for everybody who stopped by. Excellent. Alana? Uh, the IGN show on Disney XD is my life, and that is starting to air again. We, we took a two-week break. Uh, next week, uh, we don't know exactly what time at weeknights, basically. So catch us there. Check your local listings. Yeah. That's what they say. In TV they do guide. say that. Yeah. Yeah, I read that. Yeah, Marty? In TV Guide. <laughs> uh, There's this a magazine on, that hasn't aged yeah, well, right? huh? This isn't uh, on Xbox, but I, when's this going up? This uh, I probably will just put it up ASAP. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> embargo. I don't have anything. Whatever. You got to think. <laughs> embargo. <laughs> embargo. No, it's out tomorrow. Uh, There's a good game coming out tomorrow. Midnight. Good. Right? Check it. All right. Yeah. Love that. Tomorrow. <laughs> Slash maybe today. Uh, whatever. Whenever you're listening to this. Go play Hellblade. <laughs> and yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm on. <laughs> no. Uh, DMC underscore Ryan for me on Twitter. And like I said, Batman uh, season two, episode one reviewed there. Uh, I'm shooting an unfiltered this week, which I'm very excited about. So I think it's going to go up either next week or the week after cool. so that show is still going no one's canceled it on me yet which i appreciate and i think that wraps it up so let's go we got games well i think next week we'll do uh gamescom predictions yeah we'll, we'll have a thing for that that you'll see before gamescom mm -hmm. and whatever else ha at least now theoretically next week's show will be packed because it'll be like a week and a half's worth of halo yeah. 6 will get announced and yeah. canceled yeah. So we could talk about the meteoric rise and fall uh, of that. You mean like six announced. days in Fallujah? Yeah. That's about how yeah. that <laughs> part went. Delayed. Yeah, I was there for that Konami event yeah. where they're like, "We're not." Here's this new game from Atomic. This uh, it's actually this ex Bungie guy named Peter Tomta. Uh, six days in Fallujah, super realistic Iraq oh, yeah. war. Oh, you mean that thing we're all still in right now and is really sensitive to the lives of many families in America? Yeah, that. Uh, okay. And then before I could even write about it in official Xbox magazine, <laughs> canceled. Yeah. It was literally yeah. canceled like two weeks later. Yeah. Yikes. Mooch yeah. the game. Ooh. <laughs> Topical. Yuck to that too. <laughs> anyway, uh, for Marty, Alana, and Destin, I'm Ryan. This was Unlock 308. We'll see you guys next week.